Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Who Wore It Best Alolan Edition. This time we're looking at the Alolan Pokemon uh, and their forms. Again, we're comparing the new forms to the originals. So, if it's no improvement, it's B. If it's a great improvement, it's an S. If it looks worse, it's a D. That's how we're going. Let's get it going. This is Alolan Pokemon's... This is Rattata. Rattata looks fantastic. I love him. He's got a mustache. He's got dark. He's ready for a fight. I think he's an improvement. Definitely an improvement on the original Rattata, straight into the A tier. Alolan Raticate. I, I love the big cheek aesthetic. He's ready, he's willing, he's able. I love him again, A tier. For the same reasons as Rattata, it's very easy once you've got like forms into evolutions. Like the same reasons, they look good, they look fantastic. Next up is Alolan Raichu, Surfing Dude. Is he better? Is he better than original Raichu? I think original Raichu uh, has some fantastic energy, some fantastic aesthetic about him. I think he's got great attitude. This, while this is a cool aesthetic, I don't think it's an improvement as much as like also looking cool. So for me, it's Raichu B. Uh, I can kind of do these two together. Sans Shrew looks very much the same, just with like some ice aesthetic and it's got a bit of more of a chunk to him. So I'm going to pop him into B because it's a pretty much direct comparison. Sans Slash, I think, to me, looks worse in a way. I don't, I can't explain why it looks worse. I don't know if I just have like such love for the original Sans Shrew and Sans Slash that like anything new can't really improve upon it. But... I don't really enjoy it. I think it's a bit too much chunk and spike, which doesn't make sense to me. Does that make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me, but to me, it's not an improvement, so it's going to have to be in C tier. It's not vastly worse at all. It's absolutely fine. Um, Vulpix, I think, is not much of an improvement, but a very cute looking Pokemon. It does a lot with like the new typing, uh, Ice, and I believe it's then Ice Fairy for Ninetales. I think it's just like, you know, comparatively still looking very good, so I'm going to throw that into B. Alola Ninetales, I love the aesthetic flow. It doesn't make sense in some degree to me because it's an ice type and I feel like ice is fairly solid rather than flowing, but I think it looks cooler than the original Ninetales, so I'm going to pop them into A tier. Uh, Diglett got a hairstyle. A. Dugtrio got three hairstyles and my man is looking like... Uh, Three different versions of He-Man during several different phases of his life. I'm gonna have to throw. I'm gonna have to throw Doug Trio into S tier. He looks fantastic. How can you hate? You can't hate. He looks great. Um, I think Mew. So I talked about this in the Galarian video. Uh, I love the fact that Meowth got his uh, got two different versions. I don't think this one looks particularly better in any way. I think it does just feel like a bit of a color shift and an animation change. So that is very B worthy. I don't enjoy what they did with Persian. Um, there's probably something that makes sense. Maybe it's, uh, you know, Alolan is based in like Hawaii and stuff like that. I don't know if there's some kind of like culture thing there where a big faced cat like that is something it symbolizes. I don't know. Maybe I'm stepping on some of the toes here, but I don't really enjoy what's going on with it. I, I think it might be like the worst Alolan Pokemon. I'm going to have to throw that into D tier. It just makes Persian look a lot worse to me. Uh, Geodude doesn't really look a whole lot different, he's just got some spikes on his head and it's a slight colour change again. A bit more solid looking, I think, but uh, more of a B tier for me. I don't like what they did with Graveler. Um, I don't understand the yellow bits of what look like sweet corn in his body. It looks a very, very weird. The eyebrow is a bit much as well. It doesn't look better than the original Graveler, so I'm going to throw that into C tier. Gollum, I think, looks very cool. I love his big, like, evil mustache and beard combination. I love the magnet he's got on his back, ready to like fire a rock. He's like, got, he's got a, he's got like a catapult for rocks, but he's also electric type. I guess, which is why the yellow symbolizes. Maybe it electrifies the rock. How does that work? Who knows? But it's an improvement in the original Gollum. I'm going to throw that into A tier for sure. Uh, I don't think Grimer is. I'm going to rephrase. I think Grimer is an improvement on the original Grimer. I don't know what yellow stuff he's got coming out of his mouth exactly. I assume it's honey or something. But I like his bright eyes. He looks like very excited to just be here. He looks like he's having a great time. Um, into A tier for you. Alolan Muck. Other than the weird like calcified whatever chunks of teeth or whatever he's got going on. The color scheme uh, screams gay pride and we absolutely love that. We're big fans of that here at Just Attainment. Um, Alolan Muck is definitely an improvement on the original Muck, which isn't difficult because Muck was just, what, 
browny purpley sludge. I'm gonna throw muck into S tier. Uh, Aluminum Executor is just awesome. I love the fact they went, yo, that Pokemon looks like a palm tree. Well, that Pokemon is based on a palm tree. Let's dial that up to 11. It's a fantastic look. Do not understand how it's dragon type, but it's a huge improvement over the original Executor if an improvement means stretch it, make it longer. Long Cat, for example, is a Gigantamax for Meowth. S tier, S tier, S tier. Now, as a static image, the Marowak isn't really that interesting compared to the original Marowak. Again, it feels a bit more like a color swap, but I think animated and within the game with like the spinning of the stick and stuff like that, it becomes a much cooler Pokemon. I think Marowak becomes an A tier for sure. So there we have it. There's the Who Wore It Best for Alolan Pokemon. Uh, we have Persian down in D. We have Sand Slash and Graveler in C. Raichu, Sandshrew, Vulpix, Meowth, and Geodude make B tier. A tier is Rattata, Raticate, Ninetales, Diglett, Golem, Grimer, and Marowak. And S tier is Dugtrio, Muck, and Executor. If you agree or disagree with this list, please let me know in the comments or on social media. All my links are in the description below. Give me a like, give me a sub, all that good stuff, and I shall see you in the next one. See ya!